Former New Zealander of the Year, Dr Lance O'Sullivan, says he could have had mobile medical clinics ready months ago, but the Ministry of Health wouldn't listen. It comes as the government says mobile testing units for COVID-19 could be considered. Dr O'Sullivan says he has spent the last year trying to get his idea for shipping container clinics off the ground. The idea being that they can service needy communities with the ability to be packed up and moved to hotspots within 24 hours during a pandemic. Our reporter Katie Doyle and cameraman Nick Monroe took a trip to Container Co in Panmuir to see one of the would-be mobile container clinics. When it's finished, this 40-foot green shipping container will be kitted out with a consultation room, reception, two triage areas and a toilet, a doctor's clinic but bite-sized. It will also have a drive through window so people with COVID-19 or infectious diseases can be tested without leaving their car. It's been a labour of love for Dr Lance O'Sullivan and with COVID-19 now on our shores, he says the time to act is now. There's already a pressing need, already a, a significant shortage of health services and people were waiting up to four to five weeks to just see a GP for a their current problems. You overlay the COVID virus as we go into an influenza season, which is the winter in New Zealand, and we will not cope. But there's a real opportunity with a bit of crea creative thought and innovation that we could actually turn it into uh, a very accessible and uh, meaningful uh, health service, you know, for communities around New Zealand. The, the difference here is that, well, why don't we just keep you in your car? Because actually it'd be better if you don't come into our clinic and talk to a nurse or a, a glass window. Why don't we keep you in the car and do an assessment through the window? You know, and it's very, very possible. There, there isn't a lot on the market at the moment. Uh, one of the tests that we've been doing, and I've personally done since the pandemic uh, started, is a very unpleasant test for the patient where we put a horrible swab through your nostril down into the back of your throat. It's called a nasopharyngeal swab and it's, it's not just unpleasant, but it's actually quite dangerous for the person who's doing the test in terms of infection. Uh, if we do that swab, uh, it's really common that the, the natural response of someone is to, to sneeze and cough, okay? So I typically do it and try to run away as fast as possible, but a lot of our staff get caught with someone coughing all over them. Now, we may have PPE gear on, but that's still a risk. It's not a very safe test, and it takes two to three days for a result to come back. There's actually some tests that we're talking to some companies about that, just like a diabetic pricks their finger to do a blood sugar level. I mean, okay, yes, a little bit of pain, but to be honest, I'd rather get a finger prick than a, 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 a tree trunk shoved down my nose. And um, uh, and it's very... Uh, it's real time, get an answer in less than two minutes. Now that's a, you know, that alongside smart locations and facilities is two thirds of the answer to this pandemic. If, if the, the powers that be and, the, and, the, and the, the ivory towers in Wellington said, look, we think this is a good idea, we would like to have 30 to 40, um, you know, um, constructed, uh, and we think they should go in this, you know, these different areas in New Zealand. If we find it actually just like what happened in Wuhan in China, that actually, geez, it's the Bay of Plenty that's taken the hit. We thought it was going to be Northland. It's not. We've only got three centres down there. Let's make it 10. It'll take 24 hours to move those, OK? I don't see another solution that could be as efficient and could be as um, rapidly deployable. And then on top of that, you know, innovating to make it a high-quality service, not not just a camper van with someone hanging out the window. Do you feel you're getting the movement that you want? Well, <clears throat> when you talk about movement, I think of constipation and I think of something like a laxative um, that would, or an enema. Something like that would be fantastic in parts of our health system, probably our government in general, but look, I'm, I'm making light of a serious situation. Uh, the, the answer is no. The movement I have been experiencing has been incredibly painful and slow. Um, and if I, I just, if I saw a patient like that, it would be cruel of me not to help them. 
And that's Dr Lance O'Sullivan speaking with our reporter Katie Doyle. If you were listening to that, don't forget you can go online and have a look at the plans he has for these containers in the video. And Checkpoint wanted to ask the Director General of Health, Ashley Bloomfield, about Dr O'Sullivan's proposal. But once again, he declined to be interviewed today on Checkpoint.